Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing well and ready for our next Fitness Friday activity today. For today's Fitness Friday, we are going to do a game called the Plank Walkout Challenge. Okay? Now equipment wise, all you need is a small soft ball, or if you haven't got a small soft ball, you can use some squish stop socks, which I'm using here. I've got a paper plate on the floor just there with some small scrunched up pieces of paper on there. I've also got my orange jumper that I'm going to use as a reference point to stand at and I'll explain how that works. And then I'm also using a stool just here. If you haven't got to use a stool, you can use a chair or a basket. It's entirely up to you. Okay? And I'll explain what we're going to be doing with all this equipment. Health and safety wise, if you can make sure you're in a nice big space again, and the floor you're working on is soft because we're going to put our hand on the floor. So if you can make sure of that, that'd be great. Now in terms of how this activity works, what you have to do is you're going to stand at your orange jumper here. I'm going to stand at my orange jumper and I'm going to walk myself and my hand onto the floor into a plank position. When I get into my plank position, I'm going to pick up a piece of paper and place it on my stool okay now there's five pieces of paper so i'm going to see how quickly i can place my five pieces of paper on this stool now there is also a way to get two pieces of paper instead of one and in order to get two pieces of paper you have to when you've walked into your plank go into a push-up and then you can pick two pieces up and place them on your stool if you are a little bit unsure of how this works and you think it's i'm not sure what this looks like, I will demonstrate it to you now, okay? So feet are at my orange jumper, I'm going to walk my hand into a plank. When you're in your plank, try and make sure your back's straight, pick up one piece of paper, walk your hand back up, and place your paper on your stool. And then to get two pieces of paper, again, hand walking into a plank, back straight, you're going to push now onto your sock, and then push up, and that will allow you to get two pieces of paper and place them on the chair. Okay? And your sock is your reference point for your push up because when you're pushing down or going down, you want your chest to touch the sock and then you can come back up. Okay? Right then, I'm going to time myself and I'm going to see how quickly I can do this. Okay? Right, so let's get the stopwatch started. Five pieces of paper to collect, one point for a plank, two points for a push up. Three, two, one, and go. That's a one, I'm going to go for a push up next. Just into my plank, back straight, push, two pieces. One, two, back up, I'm going to go for one, into my plank. And a loop, and then I'm going to do one more piece of paper, collect, and stop. Ooh. And that took me 32 seconds, okay? And as you can see, all my pieces of paper have been collected, okay? So you can experiment with this one, guys. You haven't got to time yourself. You might want to start off by just practicing how to do your plank and make sure you're back straight and then picking up a piece of paper and then if you're confident with that you can then try and add your push up in okay so have fun with that one let us know how you get on um, and i hope you have a good friday bye guys